everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd read a section of this book, 8,000 Awesome Things You Should Know, by Miles Kelly. And today I'm going to read about sharks. All about sharks. Sharks are a type of fish. They live and breathe underwater and are brilliant swimmers. All sharks are carnivores, which means they eat other animals. Many are fierce hunters. Sharks are found in seas and oceans and in a few rivers too. There are about 400 different species of sharks. A species is the name for a particular type of shark or other living thing. Sharks of the same species can mate and have young. Most sharks have long bodies, triangle shaped fins and lots of sharp teeth. A great white shark on the prowl Many sharks hunt and eat other types of fish, as well as all kinds of sea creatures. Sharks range in size from about the size of a banana to bigger than a bus. Sharks are closely related to other fish called rays and skates. They're similar to sharks, but usually have much flatter bodies. Sharks have existed for almost 400 million years. Shark shapes. A typical shark has a long, narrow, torpedo-shaped body designed for moving quickly through the water. All sharks, even unusually shaped ones, have the same basic body parts. A head with eyes, nostrils and a mouth, a body, a tail and fins. A body shape designed for speed, like a shark's, is called a streamlined shape. It allows water to move past it easily with very little resistance or drag. The tip of a shark's nose is called the snout. Most shark's snouts are pointed like the tip of a bullet. A shark's mouth is usually a long way back underneath its snout. Star fact. Some sharks can change shape Swell sharks inflate their bodies with water or air to make themselves bigger and rounder. Hammerhead sharks get their name because their heads are shaped like wide, flat hammers. Angel sharks have wide, spread out fins that look like an angel's wings. Engineers sometimes study sharks' fins and bodies to determine the best shapes for aeroplane wings or boat or boat hulls. Some large fish, such as tuna, are shaped like sharks. Shark sizes. Shark sizes. The whale shark is the biggest living shark. It can reach a maximum size of 18 metres, as long as two buses end to end. The biggest shark ever, Megalodon, is now extinct. Scientists think it may have weighed almost twice as much as a whale shark. The biggest shark are gentle creatures that filter tiny food particles from the water. The biggest hunting shark is the great white shark. A great white shark's mouth can measure up to 40 centimetres across. 
This is a whale shark, the biggest shark of all. It swims along with its mouth wide open in order to collect food from the water. Although sharks vary greatly in size, most of them have similar torpedo-shaped bodies that enable them to cut through water at speed. Most sharks are medium-sized, measuring between one, milli one meter and three meters in length. The smallest sharks are the spined pygmy shark and the dwarf lantern shark. They would fit on two pages of this book. The average size for a shark is very similar to the size of a human. Although some sharks are small, most are bigger than other types of fish. Sharks aren't the biggest animals in the sea. Some whales are bigger, but their mammals are not fish. Inside a shark. Star fact. The insides of a shark's intestines or guts are spiral shaped. Because of this, some sharks have spiral shaped droppings. Sharks are vertebrates. They have a skeleton with a backbone. Many types of animals, including all fish, reptiles, birds and mammals. Are vertebrates. Sharks' skeletons are not made of bone but of cartilage. Sharks have thick layers of muscles just under their skin. They are used to move the body from side to side as it swims. Most of a shark's vital organs are in the cavity in the middle of its body. Sharks have many of the same organs as other animals. Sharks' livers contain a lot of oil. Oil is lighter than water, so this helps it to float. A shark's stomach is stretchy. It can expand so that the shark can, can consume large amounts of food quickly. Just like humans, sharks have a heart that pumps blood around their bodies. Most sharks are cold-blooded, which means their blood is the same temperature as the water around them. A few sharks are warm-blooded. They can heat their blood to be warmer than their surroundings. This helps them to swim faster and move into cooler water to hunt. picture, muscles, spine, stomach, brain, heart, liver. Some of the main organs and other parts of a shark's body. Bendy bones. Cartilage is a white or pale blue rubbery bendy substance that sharks skeletons are made of. A shark's bendy skeleton gives it flexibility, helping it to twist and turn in the water. Although human skeletons are made of bone, they have a small amount of cartilage too. It can be felt in the bendy tip of the nose. Cartilage can also be found in meat. It's the tough, chewy, chewy substance that's usually called gristle. As well as being very flexible, cartilage is lighter than bone, giving sharks lots of strength without making them heavy. Most other fish have bones instead of cartilage. They're called bony fish. While sharks, rays and skates are known as cartilaginous fish. Sharks, fins and tails contain hundreds of thin rods of cartilage which stiffen them and give them their shape. Star fact. Some sharks are so flexible they can bend right around and touch their tails with their snouts. 
A shark's spine and skull are harder than the rest of its skeleton. They need to be stronger to hold the body together and protect the brain. Sharks have simpler skeletons than most other bony fish, with fewer ribs and other parts. A great white shark's skeleton. The spine is the most important part, as most other parts of the skeleton are attached to it. Shark skin. Sharks don't have scales like other fish. Instead, their skin is covered with tiny ha hard points called denticles. The word denticle means little tooth because denticles are very similar to teeth. Denticles make a shark's skin feel very rough to the touch. Some swimmers have been badly scratched just from brushing against a shark. Denticles have two uses. They protect the shark from enemies and help it to slide through the water. Denticles range from microscopic in size to about 5 millimeters across. The shape of denticles varies on different parts of a shark's body and from one shark species to another. Along with its streamlined shape, the denticles on a shark's skin help it to slide smoothly through the water. Denticles on the side of a shark are the sharpest, ensuring fast movement through the water. Sharks also release a slimy substance from their skin to make their bodies move through the water even faster. Large sharks have very thick skin, thicker than a human finger. Star fact. Shark skin is so rough that in the past it was used to make a type of sandpaper called chagrin. Tails and fins. Tails and fins. A typical shark has up to seven fins, not including its tail. Fins help sharks to swim and cut through the water. The big fin on a shark's back is called the dorsal fin. It's the one that can be seen sticking out of the water in shark films. A shark's dorsal fin stops its body swimming from side to side while swimming. A shark's tail is also known as its caudal fin. The anal fin is just in front of the tail. A shark's tail is made up of two points called lobes, an upper lobe and a lower lobe. Star fact. Without their fins, sharks wouldn't be able to stay the right way up. They would roll over in the water. There are two large pectoral fins near the front of a shark's body, a bit like arms. The shark uses them to steer while swimming. Epaulette sharks use their pectoral fins like legs to crawl along the seabed. In parts of Asia, People use shark's fins to make a special kind of soup. Thresher sharks can be recognised by their very long upper tail lobes. A whale shark's pectoral fin can be a massive two metres long. That's as big as a bed. Hammerhead sharks have very long dorsal fins. Spikes and spines. Many prehistoric sharks had sharp spines in front of their dorsal fins. Scientists think these may have helped to hold the fins up. Today, only a few sharks have spines, spikes 
or sharp horns on their bodies. They usually use them to fight off attackers. Some dogfish sharks and horn sharks have two sharp, thin spines in front of their dorsal fins which can inflict a painful wound. The spined pygmy shark is the only shark that has just one spine, not two or none. Stingrays, which are related to sharks, have poisonous stings in the middle of their tails. Smaller sharks are more likely to have spines. They are most at risk of being eaten, so they need defences that will deter their enemies from biting them. Spiny dogfish coil themselves right round their enemies to stab them with their spines. Shark spines are made of modified extra-large tentacles. Saw sharks have long, saw-shaped snouts edged with sharp teeth. A sawfish is a type of ray and is closely related to sharks. Its sharp, spiky snout can grow to almost two metres long. Saw sharks have small, sharp spikes along their long snouts. They use their snouts to slash at fish or to dig for prey in the seabed. Shark vision. Most sharks have big eyes and good eyesight. They mainly use it to spot their prey. Sharks need to be able to see well in the dark as there is limited light underwater. Many sharks have a layer called tapetum lucidum at the back of their eye. It collects and reflects light, helping them to see even in the gloomy darkness. The tapetum ludicum, Latin for bright carpet, makes sharks' eyes appear to glow in the dark. Some sharks have slit-shaped pupils like a cat's. Scientists think sharks can probably see in colour. Some very deep water sharks have small eyes and poor eyesight. The deepest oceans are so dark, many animals living there rely on other senses instead. Sharks have a third eye, called a pineal eye, under the skin in their foreheads. It can't see as well as a normal eye, but it can sense daylight. Star fact. Most sharks never close their eyes. Some have special see-through eyelids that protect their eyes without cutting out any light. Others just roll their eyes up into their head to protect them. The shy eye shark gets its name because when it is caught, it's cover it covers its eyes with its tail to shield them from the light. A close-up of a tiger shark's eye showing a special eyelid called the, ni the niacetating membrane. This closes over the eye when the shark is about to bite to protect it from being damaged. Sensing sounds. Sharks have ears, but they're very hard to spot. Their openings are nothing more than tiny holes just behind the shark's eyes. If you think you can see a shark's ears, you're probably looking at its spiracles, which can look a bit like ears, but are in fact used for breathing. In the sea, sound travels in the form of vibrations rippling through the water. Sharks hear by sensing these vibrations. Inside a shark's ear is a set of looping, fluid-filled tubes called the labyrinth. Sharks hear using tiny microscopic hairs inside the labyrinth. Vibrations travel through the fluid, moving the hairs which send signals to the, to the shark's brain. Star fact. Although sharks can hear sounds, they rarely make a noise. 
Scientists and tourists sometimes use cages to safely get close to sharks. A shark's hearing is its best long distance sense, but some sharks can hear sounds from several kilometers away. Sharks are best at hearing low sounds, such as the noise made by an injured animal underwater. Ears also help sharks to keep their balance. Movements of the fluid inside their ears tell them the, which way up they are. Some sharks can recognise the clanking sound of shark watching cages. When they hear it, sharks may try to find the cages in hope of being fed. Touch and taste. Like us, sharks can feel things that touch their skin. They can also feel things that are nearby from the ripples they make as water flows around them. Like humans, sharks have nerve endings all over their skin that can feel pressure, temperature and pain. Sharks also have extra sense organ called the lateral line. This is a long tube running down each side of a shark's body under its skin. As a shark swims, ripples in the water pass into the lateral line through the tiny holes in the skin. Hairs inside the lateral line sense the ripples and send signals to the shark's brain. All fish, not just sharks, have lateral lines. This is a lateral line. Star fact, a shark can sense a turtle, octopus or other prey from up to 20 metres away. Sharks use their touch to navigate. They can feel where obstacles are, even if they can't see them. Sharks have taste buds inside their mouths. As well as tasting the food they eat, sharks can taste chemicals dissolved in the water. This helps them to find prey and avoid pollution. Some sharks have fleshy whiskers on their snouts called barbells. These can sense the location of food on the seabed. And that's where I'll stop this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll join me for another video soon. Bye.